My mama taught me when I was younger, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. What is up? You guys, it's Marcella Jacquette and I am back with another video. Since I've been gone, I told you guys I've been watching comments and I've seen some really good comments, some really nice, uplifting comments, and then I've seen some mean comments. Some of you guys are out of control, okay? So I'm just gonna read to you guys a couple of comments that I got from you guys and respond because I wanna respond to y'all. So, I'll be responding to nice comments and just regular general comments and then I'm also going to be sharing with you guys some mean comments and just give you my little take on it. Cause yes, I snap back. So the first comment that I saw on here, which actually I've seen a whole bunch, but the first one that I'm going to mention is for my hair tutorial, you guys remember when I had the shaved sides and back and I had the blonde hair at the top, so yeah, that video, this girl said, and I'm not even going to call the person out because I'm not even going to give them no shine like that, but the person said that the braiding is so unnecessary and if you look at it, the thing about hair is that when you're walking throughout the day that people see like a full 360 around your head as you walk and when you sit down somebody be standing above you or anything and just see your braids now when it comes to like pictures and stuff like that of course you can't see the braids unless you like take a picture of like you know the top side of your head or whatever that's the only way you can really see the braids but people see seen the braids so when I wore the braids which the braids came from the like it came from the back and to the front and I had the curls in the front like this with the shaved sides you could see the braids if I'm walking around plus I'm short so folks could see it so mm. okay so yes somebody said I think it was a guy who said why y'all women doing this style though to me it don't look good I rather women with long sexy hair and females doing this style in my country also in Nassau Bahamas 242 area code where I live now so I hear this a lot when it comes down to my hair when it was shaved and I had hair at the top and now that I have like the full like fade and it's low at the top I hear a lot of people say well I like girls with long hair guess what that is good for you yes I'm glad you know what you like but just like you know what you like, I know what I like and I'm comfortable with my hair being short or being cut in different ways and you don't dictate what I do. So, um, I just, I get that a lot. That comment sparked, you know, me because I hear that a lot from people saying like, you know, girl, I like girls with long hair and that is a-okay. Like, I'm not gonna alter myself to be what you want me to be. I love my hair the way it is. But thanks for the comment and the watch. Glad you watched it. So that was cool. So then another comment, somebody said, <laughs> somebody said, why are you doing this to yourself? Oh, Tommy Sotomayor would have a blast with you. Okay, let me tell you something. Like I said to the last person, I don't care. This is my hair. This is the way that I like to do my hair and I'm comfortable with it. So I'm not really concerned about how people feel. Now you can say your comments and have your opinions. That's straight. I, I'm not gonna tell you not to do that. But in response to that, I'm gonna wear my hair the way that I want to. And in reference to this guy, Tommy, like I've watched his videos before and I have my feelings about it. But even if he were to talk about me, the way that he talks about other women, I would dismiss him as well because it's just your opinion and you can have that. Just like I can have mine, so cool, whatever. And then somebody said, which I love this girl, and um, she came in and like looked out for your girl after this person wrote the comment. So that so she said, because it's America and she can do what she pleases. Yes, sister, can we get like an applause from the background, please? Okay. Thank you, sister. So that's one thing I like about the comment thing is that people come at me and you guys just look out for your girl and check folks. Keep on checking them, okay? The girl who looked out for me, her name is Nori Violinist. I hope I said that right, but I'm gonna put it here at the bottom so you guys can see. 
um, but she looked out for me, okay? So then <laughs> somebody said on, on my breakup, now this was on my breakup um, video, somebody said, these light-skinned girls are sluts. That's why she's going through a breakup. I'm like, dang, that was so crazy. I can't believe that, you know, people can make general assumptions. And this is the thing, I knew that when I was putting my video out there about my breakup that people were gonna, you know, have their own opinions. So that's cool, but I'm just like, damn, this person like, was out of control and then I think this person is just a straight-up troll y'all because their um their name on YouTube is you stink so like I think they're just a troll and they just go around and just say nasty stuff to people so seeing that I'm like dang this is why I'm going through a breakup I'm like dang you can't be blaming a victim you know but then Martian space came in and just knock this person right off so martian space said hater of light-skinned people f you n-word i'm not gonna say it but you know she's a woman something you will never be or get i'm like yes martian space look out for your girl i didn't have to clap back at that one because this person just tomato troller wrote my mom looked at it for five full seconds and then said, I don't like it. And the person said back to mom, like, STFU, bitch, what do you know? That's not nice. Don't talk to mom like that. Thanks for sticking up for me. But be, bring it down like a couple notches, okay? But that was nice, though. I mean, the person still looked out for me. Another person um, <laughs> wrote on here, and it's it like y'all be clapping back. Thank you. So the person wrote out here, is this a he or a she? Now I know we live around some closed-minded folks, okay? So if a girl, if I decide to have a short haircut, why does why does that make me a boy or a guy? Whatever. Anyway, so King Javanique said, just because she's cutting her hair doesn't mean you should be questioning her gender. This is clearly a fucking female. Thanks, girl. I'm shouting you out. You looked out for me, girl, because, duh. Like, this person obviously, I don't know, I guess they don't understand that I'm a girl, and just because I cut my hair short doesn't mean that I'm a boy, okay? Like, it's 2017. It's not like 1985 or, no, let me give an older number. 1940, where, like, all the women have long hair and all guys have short hair. This is not that time, sweetie. This is... A new day and age and I'm trendy and I'm myself and I'm gonna be myself so whatever but thank you King Javanique girl you looking out so another person put on here your hair looks retarded now again uh, you can have your opinion you can say how you feel that is you I just thought it was crazy that the person felt like they needed to say that my mama taught me when I was younger if you don't have nothing nice to say don't say nothing at all some of y'all mamas need to be telling y'all that because that wasn't nice. Um, nobody even responded to him, but people were just like, you look beautiful, you know? You look fine, it's fine. And this was like underneath my 25 random facts about Marcella Jacquet. And then somebody else said, uh, looks funny. And I'm like, well, thanks for watching. You know, just leave it alone, whatever, you can have that. Oh, this person. Now, y'all, when I went on this little girl's page, and yes, she is a little girl. Um, when I went on her page, I could just feel vibes of like, I don't know, she wasn't feeling comfortable in her own skin. So I guess she felt like she needed to go up underneath my picture and say, or underneath my video and say mean stuff. But this is what she said. I hate bald-sided bitches just makes me want to slap the shit out of the side of their head i'm like oh why would you want to get violent off my haircut that's not cool at all but again i looked at her page and it just seemed like she wasn't comfortable in her skin so people like that you just gotta let them slide but cameron Shear came in and said it's just hair dude you shouldn't be offended by someone else's hairstyle you have problems so that person came in and rescued the day. Like, I mean, sometimes you just gotta tell people. We all come from different spaces, um, and sometimes you just gotta bring real people into the, into you know, the real world. And then other people are just like commented nice things, like you know, um, you have a really nice haircut. Um, you're really nice. Like just really positive things. You guys are just 
so nice. I mean, I find that there's more people out there. Like, looking at my channel and looking at the comments and stuff, I find people out there. Maybe it's because I'm a smaller channel. That's okay. Um, but I find more of you guys out there saying positive things about me and to me than negative things. And I notice that people that do say negative things are usually trolls or either just people that are not comfortable in their own skin. If you're not comfortable in your own skin, I would encourage you to get comfortable in your skin because that's the skin you're gonna be wearing for the rest of your life. So you gotta be comfortable with yourself.